Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to episode seven of our mystery box challenge. I can't believe we've done that many episodes. We have. <laughs> <laughs> You've done an awesome job in all of them, so we'll see how you go today. Okay, what have you got for me? Okay, so Casey, a Patreon of ours, um, suggested the ingredients. She's from Arizona. Um, just a kind of point, if you would like to be a Patreon of ours, there'll be a link in the description below. It helps us keep the videos coming and um, keep the, the content. All the content yeah, that exactly. we provide for you. So thank you so much, Casey. I'm excited slash nervous. I hope you're kind. Yeah. And thank you for being a Patreon. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to grab the ingredients. Okay, so we have the mystery bag here. Even in a US, a bag from the US, because that's it's Trader true. Joe's. Trader Joe's. I think it's from <laughs> San Fran. Um, so, first ingredient: green olives. Mm -hmm. Second I like it. I like ingredient: olives. capsicums. Or peppers. Green and red peppers for our American friend. <laughs> Lemons. The protein, chicken drumsticks, okay. chicken legs. Right, drumsticks. This is the curly ingredient. Okay, I'm nervous. Harissa. Uh -huh. Now, I will say for Australians, it was a little bit difficult to find at the supermarket. It was in the, How herb did you find it? <laughs> it was in the herbs and spices part of Woolworths. I googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Where and it wasn't at our normal worst, but it was at another worst. So I had to go out of my way to get this. Okay, thank you, Casey. Harissa, I've actually never cooked with really? it. Really? What is it? Like a spicy chili? It's a chili, chili paste. I've had it at a restaurant, but I've never actually cooked with wow. it or anything. So this is going to be interesting. Well, I'm going to leave you in the kitchen. I've got a few bits and pieces I need to do, and I look forward to tasting the end product. Okay, so. We've got some capsicum, lemon, green olives, chicken drumsticks, and harissa. So harissa is like a chili paste. So the ingredients is red hot pepper, which I guess is chili, garlic, coriander, salt, and caraway. So I wonder how, um, first of all, I'm interested in how spicy it is because Dan is not that tolerant. <laughs> so drumsticks as well, not something that I cook with very often, um, which is surprising because we do like chicken, but we'd normally probably get chicken thighs or chicken wings. Um, so that's going to be good. Now I've just got, there's like a tube of harissa in there and I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger and try it. Okay. So let's, let's see how spicy it is. Pretty spicy. I like the flavor of it though because it's cumin-y and I like cumin. So my initial idea with these ingredients is some sort of tray bake. So probably just put some harissa, maybe a bit of olive oil to kind of break it down a bit and coat the chicken and we'll lay it all out on a tray and bake it in the oven and hopefully the chicken skin will get a bit crispy. Um, and I will have a think about what we're going to do with all the other ingredients, but hopefully we can pop them all on the tray together. Okay, so I just mix some of the harissa paste with just some like light flavored olive oil in this bowl, just to kind of thin it out a bit. Um, so I've just kind of mixed it together and then I'm going to toss the drumsticks in this mixture so that they're all coated in the chili paste. Okay, so I think these are actually looking really good. What I might do is kind of cut these up into large kind of chunks and I'll toss them in there as well to get a bit of the kind of chili oil on the capsicums. And then we'll lay it all out on a tray. Okay, so I've tossed the kind of capsicum so they've got a bit of the chili oil on them as well. 
Now, I did preheat my oven quite hot, about 200, 220. And I am now going to lay all this out on this tray. Okay, so I've just spread out the chicken drumsticks on the tray. Just kind of tried to space it out evenly, make sure all the skin side is up. And I tried to get every last bit of chili oil out of here and I've spread it on top of the drumsticks. Now I also might add some lemon kind of cheeks to it because hopefully they will kind of char a bit and then we can squeeze the lemon juice over the top at the end. So I added the lemon cheeks and now I think it is ready to go in the oven. I am going to add the olives to it as well but I don't think they need to cook as long as everything else. So what I might do is just cook this for kind of half an hour or so, see how it's cooking and then I'll add the olives in a bit later on. So that is all of my ingredients so far. So chicken drumsticks, the harissa lemon and capsicum going in the oven and the olives to add later on. And I've only used olive oil from my pantry. So let's pop this in the oven. And the best thing about tray bakes is everything's on the one tray. So there's hardly any washing up and most of the work is done in the oven. So let's pop it in the oven and then come back and see what it's looking like in about 30 minutes or so. So I just got this out of the oven. It's smelling really delicious in here. And I'm just turning these chicken legs over so they can kind of brown a bit on the other side. And I think I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the olives in. And then I'm gonna pop it back in the oven. I'd say it's nearly cooked. I'm probably just gonna do it for another kind of five or 10 minutes just to get if these will brown up a little bit. So our chicken, Harissa chicken tray bake is out of the oven. It smells delicious. Um, so I might just let it cool down a bit and then we'll get our taste tester. I will say probably um, if I wasn't doing the mystery box challenge, like it would be nice to serve it with some cauliflower rice um, and maybe kind of like a yogurt drizzly sauce would be nice just to, for a bit of freshness and to cut the heat in case it's quite spicy. Um, and yeah, and maybe some like fresh coriander or some fresh mint would be really good as well. But I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out given the ingredients that I had. And I've only used olive oil from the pantry. Everything else was from the mystery box. So we'll, the lemon that we've cooked in there, which is kind of caramelized a bit, we'll just squeeze on the chicken before we eat it. And I think that will be really nice. Okay, any ideas what I might have made? I can only think that you would bake the chicken legs in the oven. So maybe like make a marinade with the harissa and the lemon and some oil or something. I'm not sure what you would have done with the capsicums. Um, yeah, bake the chicken legs. That's the best I can come up with. Well, Ooh. Dan, you were pretty spot on. I did a harissa chicken tray bake. So the harissa, how spicy is it? <laughs> I'm a little scared. But this looks amazing. So just put this Squid, over the yeah, top. Yeah, I thought the lemon would be nice. Like, yeah. Because it's kind of caramelized a bit. Let me get some of this delicious chicken. I tried to go very light with the harissa, so hopefully it's not too spicy for you. See if I can get a bit of bit of everything. A bit of all of the bits. Also seems very yes. steamy. <laughs> that is actually really delicious. Like the harissa, it's not that spicy. Okay. Um, but I can really taste the lemon. I think that really oh, does okay. help kind of cut through yeah. the any spiciness that's there. It just adds like a really nice flavor 
And there's just like a little bit of heat on the back of mm -hmm. my throat, but in a nice way, not a bad way. Okay. So if you're looking for something probably a little bit different to try, I would give this definitely a try. It's got bags of flavor. Hopefully you've enjoyed episode seven of the mystery box. If you have, give us a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching. Bye.